Ladies and gentlemen, welcome here to Respawn Land V30. I am GameStars Ragnarok. I am bringing you all the Dota 2 action here from Respawn this evening. We are here. We are finally here at the grand final of the Dota 2 tournament. Um, we do actually have two teams going up against each other, of course. Act on Instinct versus uh, C Line 4 V3 Z. I'll just call them C for the rest of the game because it will just make life so, so so much easier to do. So I will call them C. We are into the draft. The draft is almost over. So I'll throw us over to that right now. We do have bands out so far from C. It will be Lich, Lycan, um, Earthshaker, as well as the Bane. We do have bands coming from Acton Instinct, Invoker, Sand King, Five Chen, as well as remain. the Shadow Demon, um, Ember Spirit, uh, Shadow Dying Demon, Axe and Dazzle, all being picked up. This is a little bit loud. I apologize in advance. I just need to change a quick little setting. Uh, audio. Let's just turn this down a little bit. That should make it like much better. Radiant so, a dazzle band. and the picks up from Acton Instinct will be Mirana, Crystal Main Center, War, uh, War Runner, and the Wind Ranger. And a Puck Band now coming out from C um, for this grand final match. This is a best of three grand final match with a one game advantage going to C because they did make it all the way through the winner's bracket all on their own little lonesome. Five seconds so remaining. We will be um, watching that. If C win this one, they win the whole thing. Desert Act on instant win, they will play another one to see who the game, uh, who the winner will be. So, final band now coming out for Act on Instinct. Just waiting on that. They're using up a bit of their extra time here. It looks like they have right throughout the bands. Um, and probably a little bit. So just going to go through and there it is it's an nature's profit ban so see now have the next pickup um their final pickup here will have to most likely be an off laner if anything i think it's going to be an off laner because it looks like what they need <laughs> they're going on at the moment there is lots of noise around, they are doing announcements, they usually are when we do Grand Finals, they just can't be quiet for us, they have to all get on the microphone the moment the Grand Final starts up. A little unfortunate, but oh well, it happens. And a Lone Druid Radiant pick up now. Pick. Coming from C, Lone Druid, not one of the biggest big pixel bands over the last little while. Um, that bear is still massively tanky. He lost a bit of favour because the bear started giving a lot of experience and a lot of gold away to the enemies every time they were able to kill him. So... Hmm, it should be a little bit interesting to see exactly what happens with this game. Just going to double check. Oh, yeah, I so am. Oh, should turn that on as well. That'll be much better. Um, so now we're just waiting on the Five final pickup now from Act on Instinct. Um, once they pick up that final hero, we can jump straight reserve in. They do time. have 57 seconds left of their reserve time. Counting down nice and slowly. No idea, but it looks like there's going to be a lot of, like, some good, good... Um, team Tactics coming out here. I mean, you've got Shadow Shaman with the wards. Axe can keep him close. So can Shadow Shaman. And this Ember Spirit does have a bit of a lockdown himself. Lone Droid. It looks like they've got like a, quite a few like mini stuns or snares or entangles um, coming out from their side. And then we do have a lot coming out. And Act on Instinct have picked up a Drow Ranger for their final pickup, which is a little bit surprising here. Good single target focus. I wonder if this is going to be something to try and pick out the lone druid. Get up that aura very quickly and then just drop the bear on its early level so that way we won't be he won't be able to be seen or do anything. So hmm. Will be a little bit interesting to see how this goes down. We're just waiting for all the heroes to be picked up by the um by the people that are playing them now and then once that happens we'll be able to jump fair into this game and get it all underway let's just hide that as well so we will there where there is a pause coming out one second a mic issue apparently but while we're waiting for this we will go over the teams right now on the drow ranger we're going to have yeezy uh playing on that Steve and ABC will be playing on the Marana. We're going to have Dirty Pillows playing on the Centaur Wall Runner. Uh, a miss, uh, Asymmetry will be playing on that Crystal Maiden, and Rend is going to be playing on the, the Wind Ranger. Um, going up to C's team, we do have SKR will be playing on the Lone Druid. Uh, dot dot. I'm pretty sure that's Boons. He will be playing 
uh, on the Ember Spirit. P JY will be playing on the uh, Axe. Uh, w2 Hung, <laughs> what Hung, will be uh, playing on top of the Shadow Shaman. And finally, to finish it off, Dazzle is going to be played uh, by more like shit, shit JY. Huh, interesting names that they have. NH. So, we're just waiting for a, uh, one final thing to come out here. Just finally waiting for him to come up and get the game underway. Hopefully that mic issue would be fixed very shortly and hopefully we can get on. Just trying to think about a, bit, a little bit of the synergy that's going to be going on with this team. As I said before, RC will have... <laughs> have... Uh, a little more CC by the look of it, but it looks like there's a, quite a bit of danger that can come out with the Centaur uh, Warrior. With the Centaur coming out. Um, lockdown, and that double edge, we've seen in other games how badly um, Centaur Warrior can just like do, do damage very, very quickly. <laughs> Having a bit of a go at Boons. Just quickly. Um, but there is a lot of single target focus that can come out very quickly. So if they can isolate someone early on in the fight, they can burst them down very, very quickly and give themselves the advantage. So, and it looks like we're able to go. And Instinct are calling for the G. And yep, there we go. So this game will finally get underway. And we can get into this grand final. Hopefully it's going to be amazing, fun-filled, jam-packed. And I won't be falling asleep through it because hopefully they don't be boring. But, we'll see what they're planning on doing here. They seem to be splitting up quite a little bit going around the map. There's no, not going to be any sort of a jungle invade, although four look like they were going bottom, but no, only three are. So it looks like it's going to be an axe with two supports down in this bottom lane. On the off lane right now, we're going to have Ember Spirit standing in the mid lane, as well as having... Um, the Lone Druid sitting up in this top lane. Lone Druid has himself some tangos. He's put a Quelling Bait as well as a Stout Shield on the bear. Let's see if they've guessed pretty well right. We do have a Windrunner on that off lane, so Windrunner is going to be going up there, up against the bear. She can right click down a little bit. Drow Ranger in the mid lane. We do have a Marana sitting there. Looks like Marana will be the support. Centaur Warrior is going down into that bottom lane, and he will be supported up by the Crystal Maiden. Crystal Maiden wouldn't surprise me at all if she jumps into the jungle for a little while. Just hangs out there. I don't know if he can, but it seems like there's a a lot of interesting stuff going on over at our LOL stream as well, guys. So you can go over and check that out at twitch.tv um, slash GameStarTV2. That is where all the LOL action is going on at the moment. Uh, but stick around, watch this grand final, and then jump over there a bit later on. You can watch grand final all while going on. Uh, it looks like they've spotted out, they've put a ward down there. It looks like someone knows, and that's an interesting ward. Huh. Hmm. Interesting award. Huh. Sorry. Got amused by it a little bit. But anyway, so the ward's down there. And the game is underway. We have Dazzle and Shadow Shaman coming down here, blocking. So it's going to be a try on duo at this point in time. It looks like Morana might be going for something. Some sort of early first blood in the mid lane. Um, get a lockdown on Ember Spirit very, very early. He actually got himself... And there goes the arrow, and it does add a hit on, straight on the Ember Spirit right now. Drow is trying to shoot uphill. She is going to shoot down a little bit. It is a long stun time, but it's going to be a lot of damage going on to that Ember Spirit. He only has a couple of tangos that he's been giving from one of his teammates. So... Not really a good thing there. And look at Drow. She's just running in there and right-clicking him down. He can't exactly hang on to this. Drow has four tangos of her own, so she's allowed, she can able to take that little bit of extra damage. But it does look like Marana has left the lane. Actually, she's turning around. No, she's... Leave, no, no, yes, no. I don't even think Marana knows what she's doing at the moment. But it looks, it looks like she's finally going down to the bottom lane. Shadow Shaman hiding in the trees here, and he's going to try and get down here. 
um, do what he can to disrupt the pulls and everything else going on. And there we go. Mirana manages to pull uh, the creep wave. Actually manages to pull the creep wave up. And here goes Axe and Shadow Shaman instantly. And will he get? He gets stunned up instantly. And there we go. It looks like this is going to be first blood. Shadow Shaman, last word comes down. Oh, sorry, Shadow Grave. And will he be able to get out of here? One right click's going down. Will it be the creep that gets kill actually? No, Axe is going pretty, pretty hard down onto this Mirana. But it looks like Axe has overextended himself as well. And uh, stun. And there we go. First blood does go down to the Crystal Maiden. It does look like Centaur is trying to get down there. Arrow comes out as well. Looks like Centaur is in a little bit of trouble. He's going to end up going down to the Dazzle as well. Both of the kills going down to the supports first up. And it looks like Mirana is going to be chasing down as well. Mirana really wants to get this Dazzle. Shallow Grave is not up anymore. So she does get another one off. The healing self does go off, but not going to be able to get the kill. So he's going to scoot out of there. But the advantage definitely goes to extent being able to get that first blood, and especially on a Crystal Maiden, one of these heroes that can get a little bit narky. Um, <laughs> a little bit. Uh, just reading the chat there, guys. Proudly sponsor, uh, surprise sponsored by Centrelink. <laughs> yeah, interesting name. But we are going down. So a one-for-one one trade going down to that bottom lane. Both of them went to the supports. First Blood did go to the Crystal Maiden. And all of them got the experience for that. So the advantage just definitely goes there. I'm going to throw up the last hits and denies. It looks at the middle lane. It looks reasonably even, actually, the two of them. But it does look like... Where is he? Ember Spirit. He's going up for his rune. He's got his bottle already. And he's going to pick up a double damage. So this is going to be beautiful for him right now. And then we've got a Shadow Shaman coming in as well. And there's pinks coming out. Orange. Looks like Centaur knows where he's going. Yeah, there was Ward that spotted that out. And look at Drow. Drow's just completely out of there. There's no way she's sticking around for that. Centaur's go like Shadow Shaman's going looking for her, but there's no way. I have to quickly change something on my broadcaster. There we go, beautiful. That should actually make this a lot easier and a bit smoother. And there we go, Shadow Shaman still running around there looking for the Drow Ranger. Is not going to find it. And look at this, the two supports instantly breaking away. And now they're going looking for this Shadow Shaman. Shadow Shaman, there we go. We do have a TP in from the Drow Ranger. They see Shadow Shaman go back across over the other side. And he's going to be a getting out now. Um, Drow Ranger does come back into the mid lane. Um, I wonder if there's going to be an arrow from the Marana trying to come across and get something to come down here. And look at this. Drow, there's just the harass with the frost arrows going out. Able to get him from the other side um, of the river. Big hits going down. Oh, Precision aura, only one point. Um, wouldn't surprise me to see him max out on frost arrows to try and keep him down. But there we go. Um, back down on the bottom lane. Looks like Axe is farming up. He's purposely taking like damage from the creeps just so he can get the spin to win going, that counter helix and see, but Centaur Warrior, he's farming out quite well, um, no, actually he's not, he's four for one, but he did get the experience of the first blood, so he's not that far behind, and there we go, we do have a few in the middle lane, and Marana actually has managed to get another arrow off on top of the thing, and oh no, looks like Shadow Shaman could be in a little bit of trouble, no, he's going to be able to get away as well, and it does look like Ember Spirit's activated an illusion rune, he's going to bottle back up, and he's going to be perfectly fine, standing on this lane, bottle goes off, so now the Drow Ranger knows exactly which one is the real guy, um, but she doesn't want these illusions around. She wants to get rid of those as well. Looking at the top lane, um, Windrunner versus Lone Druid. Lone Druid should be dominating this quite a bit. Going a bit hard. Uh, we do have Windrunner with 13 and 2. Lone Druid sitting on 19 and 4. So, yeah, Lone Druid, he's going to have a lot more... Um, yeah, a lot easier time up in this lane. He's got the bear and his own right clicks to do it. But you have a look at right now. Axe, he's coming around. He's coming right around to try and get off that... Um, pull. He wants all these creeps and it looks like Crystal Maiden's just going to right click him a little bit. Um, those counter helixes are going off so many times right now and Axe is just going to keep farming up behind the tower and Centaur and Crystal Maiden both can't do anything about this and here we go. All of them coming in behind the tower now. We do have Marana. She's the odd one out. If she gets caught out she'll be in a lot of trouble as well. But she's not going to do anything. It looks like she might actually just try and get an arrow off right now. Will she... Nope, she's not. And here comes it's Stomp. Stomp go. Nope. Yes. There we go. Arrow goes off. Now the Stomp. And it looks like there could be a lot going in. Double Edge goes off. And Central Warrior picks up a kill there. And it looks like... Could he be in a little trouble himself? How long until Arrow's up? Five, four, three... No, not going to be able to get that. So it looks like uh, Graves is going to be out of... Uh, sorry, Davils is going to be able to get out of there. No worries. And in the meantime, we have Shadow Shaman. He comes in. He's going to be coming. He, but he's taking a lot of damage from the tower. And you have a look. She just turns around and starts beating down on him. And is going to get that. 
kill yeah, and that's a big true. turnaround he was in tower range standing right about here just in tower range as he grappled so he took way too much damage and Invisibility. then the drow ranger just turns around and starts beating down on him she's got the marksmanship first one now which does give her a bonus 40 agility so a little scary for that, and here we go. We do have Marana. She has an invisibility rune. She's actually coming up behind right now. I'm pretty sure they want this Dazzle right up. She does have one point in all of them, and he's actually going around to the other side. And look at this. We do have everything. And there we go. Arrow goes straight off. And will he be able to get stomped? Double edge straight up. He is not going to be able to do anything about that. And Shadow Shaman trying to get it leap back over. And a Crystal Maiden did actually go down as well. Axe getting that kill. And you have a look... Uh, Morana's just trying to get away at the moment. Drow's actually come down to join the fight and have a look at this. The slow's going to be coming off. And oh no, Morana, you're in a lot of trouble there. You are going to die to that. But it looks like Axe is in a lot of trouble himself as well. He is definitely going to go down. Goes down to Drow and Shadow Shaman now. He's going to get out as quick as he possibly can because he's not going to do it. And there we go. The ult from Centaur. That's going to help her out a lot. She's going to be able to chase down the Shadow Shaman. No worries. And look at this. Uh, he's not going to be able to do it. He's not going to be able to stop. There we go. Drow gets a double kill out of that. And Drow <laughs> is just getting beefy now. She's got three kills all up and hasn't died herself. So she's going to be perfectly fine in this lane. Marana standing back in this lane. Um, she's one for four right now. It's a little unfortunate. So three, oh, oh, um, two and one to the Centaur, two and two to the Axe. And yeah, this is going to be good. Um, Drow getting fed, up, uh, fed at the moment um, is not very good. Uh, for C right now I mean it's a little bit dangerous in the late game she can do a massive amount of damage with all the bonus agility that she gets from her ultimate so the more level she gets with all the kills and all the creeps um, it's going to be awful scary for everyone on the map even the axe um, but there we go we see axe he's popping off he's got three points in that now battle hunger so the slow and the damage coming out is actually quite impressive that's going to be coming out he will get the last hit so that's going to be gone as well arrow goes out and it oh is going to miss the dazzle unlucky there but almost got it on him crystal maidens running around with tranquil boots mana boots i think will be coming up onto the marana but marana ha bad handle goes on her she instantly gets it off with a quick little kill but we do have lone druid he's got it He's actually in the jungle at the moment, and we do have Shadow Shaman. He's up on the top lane on his own, but oh, here we go. And it looks like Windrunner could be in quite a bit of trouble right now. She lets the wind run off, and hopefully she's going to be able to get out of here. She has not been hit by an Entangle right now, and there we go. Centaur pop ultimate for the bottom lane as well. He's going to be able to get out, and there goes Double Edge. Marana's going to pick up that kill, and it helps. That ultimate was amazing. It actually got them with the kill down in the bottom lane. It also got the Windrunner out from the top, so... Good work there. It looks like Axe is sticking around just a little bit too long right at this point. So he's got to be careful about how long he sticks around down there because look at the Mariah. She's going down there and Axe wants to go as well. So Axe is going to beat down on the Mariah as well as the Crystal Maiden. Here we go. Centaur's coming in from behind right now. And look, it's, oh, just leaps out of the way from the dunk. We'll get out of the way. And yes, it is going to be a kill. Mariah, big plays there. Getting leaping from the dunk. Um, not being able to be hit by it, and that would annoy so much, but we do have to come back to the mid lane. Um, Drow Ranger's not in there at the moment, and we do have an Ember Spirit who's just going freely on that mid tower, and Drow's back now, so she will be saving that mid tower. Not a lot of damage done to that tower, though, and not a lot done to his own, but he's got to be careful as much as he can um, do everything. Oh... And that nearly hit him as well. But look at the drought. She's just going to keep harassing him down. He was either going to have to go back or he's going to have to make go up and get that invis rune up in the top yeah. lane. And I think he's just trying to push out right now. And look at that. Another one, but unfortunately it didn't hit. He's going to go up, get that invis rune, and hopefully we'll start trying to make some sort of play happen. Going back down, <laughs> Wind Ranger is actually up in this top lane. She's actually doing quite well for herself. Uh, managed to get 37. She's got power shot up to level 4 now, so... She should be okay. And have a look at this. She's just going up. She's just doing the harass. Um, Orba Venom is doing nice work at the moment on the bear. And oh, there we go. Ember Spirit's come up with the Invis Rune onto the top lane and will take out that Wind Ranger. So Andrea Ranger actually goes down to the bottom lane and picks up two kills down the bottom herself. So this Drow Ranger getting huge. She's 5, 1, and 0 at the moment. Has died Good once. Guys, Crystal Maiden has been denied. Good luck upgrading the does deny now. that tower down in the bottom lane. And um, 
It does look like that Ember Spirit is coming back down. I wonder if he's going to try and pressure down onto that tower as well. But Drow Range is actually very, very close by. She's got two um, Wraith Bands right now. So she's hitting quite, quite hard. Like, she has 160 odd damage. So, I mean, it it's very, very scary for anyone. But there you go. That Ember Spirit has that jump. He's able to do stuff like that. And there we go. He has the Flame Shield as well. So, Flame Guard, sorry. But it does look like we have three people grouping up into the mid lane right now. It looks like they want to try and gank him off. And ugh, balloons are getting popped. And there we go. We do have the invis go out. So Crystal Maiden, Marana is going to be running up to this thing. And oh god, you're in a lot of trouble. And bang. And away we go. And it does look like they're going straight down on the Ember Spirit. Ember Spirit is going to get taken out. The ult has gone off from... Thing, and we does get sheeped and will Got it be enough? No, it's not gonna be a kill for the Drow Ranger as well. So they've taken off the big problem man right now and now they're getting down there. And it looks like Drow Ranger almost at that level 2 ultimate now and that's gonna be a bonus 60 agility that she's gonna get and it wouldn't surprise me if I saw her getting a Yasha very very soon. Bear is now in the mid lane uh, as well as the Dazzle. It looks like they're just trying to sort of protect the tower that's up here right now. We do have a uh, Wind Ranger actually down in the lane. We'll get that Battle Hunger off with a quick power shot and Axe cannot do anything about it but there we go. We've got another one coming down and this Axe is just Battle Hungering everyone at the moment. Just going to town, like, Wind Ranger cannot stand up to this. She needs something, like, some sort of health back issue. Like, she's almost got herself a mech, so it won't be too much of an issue soon. She will be able to do that. And we go back into the mid lane, and it looks like Ember Spirit has picked up two kills right now. He is in a lot of trouble. He's just getting absolutely beaten down at the moment, but he has already taken two kills, the Drow Ranger as well as the Marana. But Crystal Maiden can't stand there anymore. Um... Looks like she's going to be trying anyway. She will bait Radiant down. She, she's cool. going to be in a lot of trouble now. She does not have enough. There we go. So Frostbite. She did not have enough to Frostbite up following that to try and get out of there. But it does look like the push on the towers are going to be coming right now. We do have three people up in this top lane. Although two of them are only taken out. Axe is just going behind the wave. He is um, picking up all that creep wave. Just spinning to win as he does. And there we go, arrow coming up, and oh, it's going to hit straight onto the third thing. And it looks like there goes the call, and he's just called to make sure. And Windra, uh, Drow Ranger, she could be in a little bit of trouble. Oh, look at that, first hit and tangle coming out from the... And Drow Ranger is going to go down, and that's unlocking. There's just, that's the thing though, they got Drow Ranger. Once she's gone, that's nothing left in the team fight. And we do have wards going out, and that's going to be Crystal Maiden going down as well, which I think those wards could have been a bit of a waste. Should have dropped them up actually near the tower like over here just so that way you could get the shot off the crystal maiden and get the tower a lot quicker as well there was no real need to drop him but there we go we got it coming down we got the entangle as well as the bind and that's going to be the end of a wind runner no more wind runner and then we've got ember spirit down on the bottom lane and he's pushing that out on his own as well and this is just an all of a sudden massive turnaround that's come down from c the just coming down and there's got to be something amazing uh, come out from Extinct very, very shortly because they've just lost a lot. And we're going to go over to the Gold Urn right now and have a look at that dip. It's been even most of the game and then all of a sudden, bam, they've lost like nearly 7,500 in an instant. Like seven, about 7,000 in an instant. Just completely shot with the gold with that last fight. And look at the experience. They were ahead and that Instinct were and then see just gone straight down. It's massive drops and it does look like we have... More pings going out on the map, coming up here, and there we go. Blink Dagger on the axe now. Instant blink in. Call, and it looks like, oh, Drow Ranger's come in here and just absolutely destroyed him. It looks like she's now going to play onto the Lone uh, lone Droid, and oh, Lone Droid, he blocked his own bear for a little while there, and he was in a little bit of trouble, and the Drow Rangers managed to pick him off as well, so. Who kills? And there we go, down on the bottom lane, it looks like, yep. We got Ember Spirit, Ember Spirit picking off. Uh, Crystal Maiden Windrunner. No, he just picked off the Wind Ranger, sorry. Down in the bottom lane. We do have a TP coming up to top lane. It is Dazzle, and then we also have TPing in. Um, who is that? The Shadow Shaman? Yeah. Shadow Shaman, and now the Axe. So it looks like I really want to defend this tower, but Drow Ranger is going to be able to ki kill it very, very quickly. Oh, the jump in. Berserker's call. Not able to do it. And then all of a sudden, bang. Berser um, Battle Hunger comes out on top of it as well. 
Nothing he can really do about that. And oh my god, let's see what's going on with that. And it does look like he's just running down. He's actually chasing right now. He just wants to get another blink off and then call, but not going to happen. And Centaur turns around, goes for the stomp. And will there be an arrow? Oh, almost baits him into it. And a little bit of trouble coming out, for, but the heel comes out. And there we go. Ember Spirit just be it, jumping down onto this tower right now. And there's nothing these guys can do about it. It's just a matter. Gets himself a double kill straight up. Heel comes out from Davil. They keep running past the tower. And it looks like they're going to be showing down, trying to get the Centaur. No, not going to get the Centaur. But Centaur has a long time before that Battle Hunger wears off. He can't go back in there. Um for the life of him right now, but there we go, Crystal Maiden in a lot of trouble, she is going to definitely go down, tries to pop the ult off, will not work, she is going to go down, and now the pinks come out to go take that top tower, that top tier 2 tower, so another tower is going to be going in the way of a C right now, a little bit unfortunate here, but Instinct had the early game, they would trying to push down as much as they possibly can and all of a sudden it all fallen. completely went out from under their feet <laughs> so it looks like they're going straight across they're going to be taking that other tier 2 tower they haven't lost a single tower of their own yet and this is just basically full map control for them now they're going to drop wards they're going to um, turn around and um, take a control of everyone's jungle there goes the wards and it does look like there we go there we go blink comes in and that is going to be a dead shadow shaman it does all look like he's in a little bit of trouble as well Sh shadow jump's gone down Mirana will go down as well radiance courier has died in the middle of that somewhere axe looks like he's in a little bit of trouble and it looks like ember spirit he's just going to go to town on him then we also have the crystal maiden now and all the stomp comes in axe goes down from that and look at the crystal maiden managed to go down the silence goes on top of the ember spirit ember spirit is trying to get out of there but he will go down so the gold will be split 844 gold is split amongst Crystal Maiden and Centaur War Runner. Uh, yo, good guys. Middle tower got and Shadow Shaman still managed get to get that tower even. anyway because of his Serpent Wards that were sitting there. So no more towers on the map sitting up for Active Instinct. It looks like they could be never in a little bit of trouble there. And yeah, it should be interesting. Like, it's hard for them to come back from this. They've got no map control anymore. You have a look at the gold graph. They're 12,000 behind now. In a space of five minutes, they're gone from near... Like, of seven minutes. They've gone from near even to 12,000. Over 12,000 behind. I was actually more like third, for nearly 14,000 behind. And that, you have a look at the XP. And the same thing. Like, they got a little bit back there for a second. And now, all of a sudden, it's just completely and utterly dropped to absolutely nothing. Uh, to under 5,000. So, they've in quite a lot of strife going in quickly go over what items we all have um for extinct we have the drow ranger phase boots hand of midas and two um wraith bands we also got uh almost a mech coming out a little bit still needed to get that mech out on the um wind Raider. and as we say that it looks like yep crystal maidens in a lot of trouble she's going to be going down blink dagger on the shadow shaman which is going to become quite in handy and he's going to be coming down straight for this Drow Ranger right now. Drow Ranger trying to TP herself out. She will have time to be able to get out. Um, Crystal Maiden does have a drums and I hear a sheep and there where it is. Looks like a jump down and the stomp and the core comes out and it looks like Centaur is going to be in quite a bit of trouble here. Will he be able to get out? No, he's not going to be able to. He's definitely going to go down and that's a two for zero trade coming out. 4C, and it does look like there's going to be a lot more for that. Drow Rangers now down, as well as uh, Wind R Runner, and there we go. That's all five gone. Crystal Maiden, she's managed to respawn. She is going to be going down to the bottom lane, just try and do anything. I wouldn't if I was you. And then we have um, Lone Druid. He's up on the top lane. Radiance top tower has fallen. He keep, he's up on the top lane, and he's just, yeah, beaten down on the other racks while they do this and you just have a look there's not much they they're able to do without this the only one who's alive at the moment Should is crystal maiden so just fell off. there's just going to be two racks going down at the same time oh that's Radiant's not what i wanted at the same time low druid's already taken one out and the bottom lane they're just gonna get whatever they can and there we go jump Radiant's in sheeped instantly and marana has now been caught out crystal maiden will go down as well centaur will jump out right now and try 
and do it. And look, look at all the projectiles going through. And we do have Centaur. Yep, Shackle Shot goes down, but not going to be able to do anything. Weave came out from the Dazzle, so everything got swapped around. And bonuses and everything uh, and then we go we go down and draw Montai meantime Lone Druid is just beating Himmer. down on the other Bone rack Bone while Bone everyone else is dying to a 4 a 4v5 down on the other end and there we go smoke goes out now and it looks like we do have yep going in there we'll take out that okay, other that racks really and this is going to be mega creeps just that's it that's Turns out we mega creeps the now have mega creeps so we're now coming through into this game uh, clevers are just way too strong right now it is absolutely ridiculous how much they've actually just looked like they were so far behind with that drow ranger but drow ranger is one of those heroes that you know really doesn't get too much she's only a very good single target there's no real uh extra bit about her like she's got good right clicks but there's no magic damage unlike ember spirit that can bring a lot of the utility and everything coming down and it looks like this is just a ridiculous amount of just trying to kill them as many times as they possibly can right now x jumping around and there we go we got dazzle gets absolutely pounded by the fountain and then lone druid jumps in there and he'll be fine and it just looks like a lot of things going in and that's it that will be the end of the game the end of the tournament c has taken this tournament um with the <laughs> with quite convincing style actually a lot of these guys used to be a part of proudly sponsored by Centrelink um, good bunch of blokes actually um, um, very well done to those guys I mean they've made it all the way through the winners bracket and then they just like they sort of cruised through it and then they just didn't care in the final they just looked like they were still on cruise mode and just absolutely dominated with that so congratulations to Z and a good run coming from extinct to come all the way through the lower bracket to come into second place thank you very much for watching guys i'm game stars ragnarok i'm here at respawn that is a wrap up for all the dota 2 action that's coming down here but don't forget guys we still have league of legends going on over on our other stream which is twitch.tv slash gamestar tv2 go over and check it out cold blood's running all that at the moment he is the one casting his butt off to get that done and i will catch you guys next time Oh.